thank you. Uh, Mr. Jacob rees uh, Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I will oppose this motion because I think it is constitutionally ill thought through that our country indeed does not have a codified constitution, but it works on conventions, and those conventions are precious to those in government and those not in government. For at some point the tables may be turned, and the Labour Party may find that they have a minority government and then cannot keep the business of the House as they would expect. And why does the government need to have this primacy within the business of the House? Because, as my right honourable friend, the member for West Dorset, says, it is absolutely right that the standing orders are the property of this House, and they are not challengeable outside this House. But our governmental system works through the Queen in Parliament, and the Queen, in this sense, is represented by the Executive. And there is a separation between the executive and the legislature, which we all know about. And that separation requires that the proposition of events comes from the government and that the amendment, review and redress in relation to events comes from this House. Of course I give way.